What's up you guys, my name is Brandon Cook. If you don't know me, this is a Q&A video. Before I do this Q&A video, I think I wanna show you guys my outfit right quick. So, let's get into it. Okay, let's start with question one by Savage Mo says, how can I be as cool as you? Well, you know what? You're cooler than me. You're already, you're already cool, man. Like, define cool, you know? Everybody has their own version of what cool is. Don't fit into a box, be you. That's cool. Like, that's cool. Nate Paulson says, are you making more vids for us mixed kids out here? Of course, of course, it's in the works. As any working man, people get busy. But yeah, definitely more mixed kids videos coming soon. Maybe not necessarily hair videos, but definitely more, like, mixed people videos, for sure. Simba says, do you believe in love at first sight? No. <laughs> I do believe in lust at first sight though. I think the human, uh, our natural human instinct is to be attracted to those that we find visually attractive, especially as a photographer, or videographer, um, aesthetics and visual things are, I would say, some of our first things that we base things on. Um, but love is deeper than a, a, vis a visual attraction. To another person. Um, I believe looks play an important factor in your attraction and in your um, instinctual like mating pr to, to procreate with another person. There's a lot of research in regard to being attracted to someone's physical appearance and the correlation to wanting to have kids with that person, but love at first sight, no. Unless if you take the word first sight and interpret it as getting to know someone uh, off their first impression, like a first impression with them, then I can see maybe some kind of correlation to love at first sight. But just to be see someone and then automatically fall in love, no. Because you don't know a real person off of what they look like. Someone could be a complete different person off of what they look like based on who they are. Someone, someone could be not visually attractive to you and be probably the person for you. Ethan Drake Wilson asked, did you get your AirPods for the clout or for sound quality? Well, I honestly, I did not know there was even a clout to AirPods. I just got AirPods because I was talking to my friend Mike on the phone and he would always talk about how great they are and their uses. And I actually have a video on, in my monthly favorites video about why I love my AirPods so much. Um, so, <laughs> but no, there's no clout involved, but I think it is really hilarious the type of memes and videos that they make about AirPods. Some of these junks are so funny, but no, there's no correlation to clout in AirPods. I just, they really work for me. I like them a lot. And the cord free, being cord free. And also they're not big bulky headphones on my head. So, yeah. This is a cool little, uh, Dave3677 says, how do you find a job that you like? Well, I think part of that is figuring out what you don't like. I'm learning in my life that half of the battle of finding what you do want to do is going through things to make you figure out what you don't want to do. So try new things, try new opportunities, take jobs that you think you may like. And if you don't like it, it's okay. You're not stuck with that job. I've, man, I've worked at so many different places. Like it's nobody's business. I've worked almost, I worked in the food industry, I worked in retail fashion, I worked in tech, I worked, you know, like Apple, I've worked, um, currently I have an office job um, in marketing, so I've worked in a news agency. Figure out your niche and what you naturally like to do and try to find a job within that field. If you're good with people and people skills, get a job where you're sociable and do things in social events and social activities, something dealing with customer service, dealing with people, but if you want to be, sell your artwork, do your artwork on the side and, and do something so, you know, you can create, 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 post portfolios and sell your artwork to the point where you don't have to no longer work with that. Because I think the jobs that we have now help us build for the future job that we will eventually end up getting. Mortise.22.fx says, how is your daughter doing? Sophia is amazing. She's so smart. She's experiencing so many amazing things in life that when I was her age, I didn't even get the chance to do. So I'm so glad like being a dad, I'm able to show my kid things at a young age, like adventures and cool things that I wasn't necessarily, didn't have the opportunity to because of finances or other things. So my daughter's doing great. She's super smart and super adventurous. Yeah. Royal like a queen bee says, why are you single? Simple answer. 
I was in a relationship and now I'm not. Um, that's the short answer. Long answer is, um, well, previously I was engaged, but things didn't work out. Did I want it to work out? Yeah. But did it not work out? No. And that's okay. Life goes on. Was I hurt? Yeah. But that's okay because life goes on. Do you need somebody to complete you? No. Can you be comfortable? Does single mean sad? Does single mean lonely? No. No. I'm in no rush to be committed to any particular individual. Do I like people? Yeah. Am I going with the flow? Yeah. And that's a part of life. Because you never know what to expect. You never know what's next. Um, that's that. Also, I'm not one to settle. So, like, just because someone's cute, just because someone's nice. Those are nice qualities to have, but that doesn't give you a reason just to, just to settle down. You know, I have a child. I have a whole child. You know what I mean? So, life's interesting. Life is so interesting. Just live life, enjoy it, take it day by day. And whatever happens, happens. Because you can't prevent it because God already knows it's going to happen anyways. Your, 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 the beginning, middle, and end is already determined. So just go with it, baby. Go with it, baby! You guys, I like the way that building looks. The building is just so aesthetically... Look at it. I like that. That's nice looking. This is an interesting looking place. Next question. Savage underscore Mo asks, what advice would you give to a person that just started out on YouTube? The advice that I would give to a person just starting out on YouTube would be, be you, quality over quantity, meaning have make things that have good content, um, like have a purpose behind why you're creating. Um, don't worry about the pressures of the outside world, like just create. Figure out your niche, figure out like what you're good at and why you're even creating in the first place. Because um, I think that'll help you out. And also, like, if you just want to use YouTube as a creative outlet to express yourself, I think that's a perfect place. Show your personality, be you, um, and, like, thumbnails are important. The camera and all that stuff is not all that important, honestly, because everything has, like, HD quality now. You know what I mean? So, and don't let views get you down. Because you never know, like, you'll have nobody paying attention to you, and then one day you wake up and... A bajillion people actually cared about some random video that you made. So, you know, don't be, and don't be so hard on yourself. I know it's hard, but don't be so hard on yourself. Te Blue Panda says, what's your ethnicity, if you don't mind? That's actually a video that I'm going to be making. I'm taking one of those DNA tests and we're going to find out what I am. But from my understanding, my dad's African-American, my mom's Caucasian. So in English, in America, that's black and white. You're black and white, Brandon. Thanks. But some people in the South be like, oh, it's a one drop roll. If you got one drop of black, then you're black. Kind of like how they call it Obama black, but he's mixed. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so that's that. Those are, yeah, so, yeah, I'm getting old. My knees are hurting. Oh, God. Oh. Ah, the sun's finally coming out. It's getting kind of cold out here, man. All right, next question. Pretty Girl 90 says, how can I be more confident if I want to find a potential boyfriend? I'm trying to understand that one. How can you, hold on, I gotta reread that. So by you saying, how do you be more confident if you wanna find a potential boyfriend, is that you saying that, like, you want a boyfriend, but you don't know how to go about doing that? I'd say, listen, I'm gonna tell it like this. I'm the type of guy where I'm not gonna chase somebody down for their attention. If we get along, great. But honestly, like, I don't like being rejected. So if the interest is mutual, like if, if she says, comes to me and says hello, and I'm not like trying to chase you down and get your attention, to me that's attractive and I can communicate that way. Like I, I think I like when people, like the, the interest is mutual, right? So um, I say let someone know that you're interested in them. Um, maybe don't jump the gun and say, I wanna be your girlfriend immediately because that might scare some people not ready to be in a relationship. But I would say, so for those people, um, like if you need more confidence, I'd say get dressed up. Um, I'd say do things that makes you feel confident in your element. So self-confidence is attractive. So figure out what makes you feel the most attractive and emphasize that. 
And then, um, and communication is everything. So I think whoever you're interested in and you wanna find a boyfriend, um, communicate. But don't feel so pressured that you need a boyfriend to feel confident. I think once you work on your inner confidence and self-confidence in yourself, you will find that right person. And a lot of people try to find comfort in a relationship and that doesn't tend to work out because they put so much reliance on that person to complete them when in actuality you need to be complete yourself. So I say, um, there's a book that I like to read. It's like, or something like, I, I can't think of it, the title of the book, but work on self-confidence and that will come. And also like, people are visual people. They're attracted to outward appearance too. So do things that work on your outward appearance to build your, like, confidence on the outside so that your confidence on the inside will build and and know you are you are awesome you're an amazing and don't find validation in relationships because you are perfect as you are next question by apari 18 says what's one thing you've always wanted to do but feel scared to try hmm, let's see i wanted to go skydiving and i did that i accomplished that um oh ooh, 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 ooh. no 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 okay i'm scared of like sharks like biting my legs off like jaws. Um, so I think like swimming with sharks or getting in one of those little cages under the water. Have you seen the 53 meters down movie? Oh my God, that's so scary. But like, I think I would do that though. Like I think I would get in a cage and be like, oh, like sharks are all around me. Like that seems like something cool like I would do. Um, I like adventures, man. Like I like doing stuff, like stuff outside, like adventurous stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Last one is from Shay Quee. Shaky, 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 no, no, okay. Shaky says, do you worry that sharing similar profiles with the rapper Drake will overshadow who you are as an artist slash social media personality? Are you instead unbothered and embrace the fact? At one point in my life, I was very annoyed that everyone called me Jimmy from Degrassi. This was like 10 years ago. Cause I'm like, bro, I'm Brandon. Like I have my own identity as a person, you know? But people are people like, if they see someone who looks like someone, their first, if they don't know you, their first instinctual thought is, oh, you look like so-and-so. So at first that was really annoying. And then in college, people call me baby Drake um, because they're like, obviously I'm not as old as Drake, but we're like a couple years apart. But they would say, oh, it's like some couple, couple girls would be like, oh my God, you like Drake or oh, baby Drake. But that was kind of annoying. Um, but like, it is what it is. I like Drake as an artist. Drake's a cool guy. Um, one day we're gonna meet, maybe not, who knows. Um, yeah, like, I mean, it is what it is, it's life. I've been told to look like Chris Brown, I've been told to look like Drake, been told to look like everybody that's light-skinned. So, but at the end of the day, I gotta embrace who I am as an individual and keep it moving. Cause everyone has different things to offer. I did music at one point, but I felt like music wasn't really my calling. Do I like making songs? Yeah, do I like music? Yeah, but I feel like I have a different path. So this just happened. I wanna get into YouTube and photography and stuff, this is $1,800. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I was gonna record stuff at the house, but there's that. So please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> oh my God. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Um, I'm gonna figure out how I'm going to film this unboxing video. I got some cool stuff from Canada that I'm gonna show you guys. So I might have to just use my phone. Pray for me. Peace.